Welcome to Boot Spy. My name's William, and today I'm talking about five ways you can style the Red Wing Iron Ranger. Let's get into it. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. As I said, today we're talking about five ways you can style the Red Wing Iron Ranger. Now, these are just five of my personal favorite ways of putting together outfits, some of the considerations I make when putting an outfit together for the Red Wing Iron Ranger. As you probably can guess, there's about a billion different combinations. This, the Red Wing Iron Ranger is such a versatile, iconic boot. So there's a, so many different ways you can wear it, but I'm just gonna talk about some of the brands I like to shop with, some of the outfits I like to put together. So let's kick it off. Let's get started with outfit number one. Outfit number one, I'm gonna call this my Taylor Stitch outfit. Uh, the jacket and the chinos both come from Taylor Stitch. The Taylor Stitch Slim Chinos are my favorite pair of chinos because they're super tapered. And one of the interesting things about them, this is a little bit of a downside, is that they're really long. So I got a size 34 and the inseam seemed like it was 34, 35, maybe even 36 inches. So it was really long, but I ended up cuffing it two times. And I really like that look because it has, you know, chinos have a, a military aesthetic background and the Red Wing Iron Ranger, when you style it that way, it, it kind of looks like a military boot in a lot of ways. So it gets this really rugged, cool, like harkens back to military style. And I really like that combo. I'm wearing a brown oversized tee. This is from Los Angeles Apparel. This is a pretty just like simple, inexpensive t-shirt made in the USA. Pretty awesome. I think I like the way it looks. I like the way it fits. I like the high collar. And then I'm gonna put the uh, Taylor Stitch Ojai jacket. And I have this in waxed mustard. Uh, last time I checked, they're no longer selling the wax mustard color on their website, but they have tons of really cool options, especially for fall and winter coming up. And they're always, Taylor Stitch is always creating new, new looks in their jackets. So check them out. I have a link in the description down below. You can definitely find uh, a really cool version of the Ojai jacket, which is what I'm wearing in this outfit. Lastly, for a little bit of the detail, I'm wearing a Citizen EcoDrive Chandler. This is a very inexpensive field watch. Uh, it's a go-to. It's something I wear pretty much, you know, many, many days just because it's so easy to to wear anywhere is versatile. And then if you beat it up, it, you know, it's inexpensive. So you're not too worried about beating it up. Outfit number two, I'm gonna call this the Outer Known outfit. So on the bottom, I'm wearing the C jeans from Outer Known. This is selvage denim. Uh, this is really high quality. It's organic cotton. This is some of the most sustainable cotton denim that is out on the market. That's how they, you know, that's what Outer Known does. That's what they're known for. So I'm wearing those jeans on the bottom. I have a two inch cuff there. And then on top, I started off, you know, here's just a black t-shirt from Outer Known. I really like the fit of this. It has cuffs around the arms so you don't have to roll the sleeves or anything like that. I think it accentuates your arms, makes, it, makes you, uh, you know, if you have biceps or triceps, it kind of brings those out a little bit more, which I, you know, I don't really have big triceps or, or biceps, so any extra little bit helps. And then on top of that, this is one of my favorite shirts. It's kind of like a flannel. I think you can call it flannel, uh, but it's called the Outer Known Blanket Shirt, and it is super comfortable. I love how thick the fabric is and it fits really well in the shoulders. The arms are quite slim. It's pretty tapered in towards the waist. So unlike most flannels where it, they can be pretty boxy, pretty bulky, the blanket shirt is super slim. It really accentuates your shoulders, makes you look pretty rugged and masculine. So I like that aspect. They have like 40 or 50 different color options on the Outer Known website. Again, link in the description down below. But you can check those out. Uh, I have this one, I think it's like an October pumpkin or something, I forget what it's called. but. Take a look through all their options. You're definitely gonna find something you like if you like this shirt. And when it gets colder outside, I'm gonna throw on a quilted bomber from Frank and Oak. You can find a quilted bomber for, from tons of different places. I like this one from Frank and Oak, um, but I also have one from Gap too. So you can take a look. I like all of quilted bombers. I think those look awesome. As for the watch here, I'm wearing the Ver D5. It's a dive watch. This is one of my favorite watch brands, Ver. They're pretty unknown. They're a pretty young brand. They're a micro brand but they make incredible value watches and they're one of the best watch brands out there right now, as far as I can tell. Outfit number three, this is when I wanna bust out my Hawaiian shirt and my shirt, oh, oh wait, no, 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 never mind, never mind, not that one. The real outfit number three, I actually put this all together through Gap, so I wanted to find something that was a little more affordable because Taylor Stitch, Outer Known, these are, they're a little bit more expensive, but I found that when you're getting something like, uh, you know, an overshirt, it helps to just spend, I've, I've bought so many terrible pieces of clothing that I thought were cool and I wear them twice. So I started investing in really high quality pieces, but still there's a time and place to go a little bit less expensive and Gap really fits the bill for that. I went out, picked up some pieces. Here I'm wearing Gap jeans. 
And then I have a Gap Henley underneath, a long sleeve. And then on top of that, I have, it's like a stretch denim shirt. And I really love the way this all fits. I was super surprised. Again, I haven't shopped with Gap for a long time, but their jeans, they're, I have a pair of their jeans from like four years ago. There's no holes, they're fading really nicely, and it's pretty cool. Um, but all this stuff is very comfortable. And this whole outfit, including this sweater that I'm wearing, is all under $200. So I got all those four pieces under $200. So I think that's a pretty incredible value if you're looking to stock up your wardrobe. I like to roll the sleeves up on the denim shirt, have a little bit of the Henley peeking out underneath if you're wearing a long sleeve Henley. Uh, and then if you want to, here's an alternative. Uh, you can have, this is their Slub cotton sweatshirt and it's crew neck, pretty simple. And you could just wear, boom, Slub cotton crew neck, jeans, Iron Rangers. It's a really classic look and it's gonna do really well in fall. Now, before we get into outfits four and five, in both of these outfits, I'm wearing my undershirt is from Henley and that's spelled H-N-L-Y. They're from a Los Angeles brand and they make really cool Henleys. I just discovered them and I love the way these shirts fit. In the next two outfits, I'm gonna be wearing something over them so you don't really get a good chance to look at them. But these are definitely, if you like Henleys, if you like that look, these have kind of like a, uh, uh, like a beat up sort of look to them, but they fit extremely well, especially in the shoulders. So as you can see here, they have metal buttons, a little bit longer sleeves. I have a long sleeve in white and a green short sleeve and the hem is curved and the shirts are much, much longer and very slim through the waist. So as you can see, I'm wearing these two shirts. They're both in a size large and they fit really, really snug. So I almost think I could have gone with an extra large, uh, even though I danced between like medium and large. So they definitely run smaller. Uh, so that's something to note, but I definitely recommend you going, checking out Henley. I have a link in the description down below. See what they're up to. I really like these shirts. I love the way they fit. They're really uh, unique, really modern. So check them out. Outfit number four, I'm wearing another pair of chinos here. As you can tell, I really like pairing chinos with the Red Wing Iron Ranger. A lot of people think automatic, oh, jeans, that's the way to go, but chinos rolled up a couple times. As you can see that cuff on the blue chinos here, it just looks super cool. And I love how you're playing off that military vibe. Uh, it really enhances the Red Wing Iron Ranger, in my opinion. As I said, I'm wearing a Henley underneath. That is from Henley, H-N-L-Y. And that's a long sleeve white Henley. And then on top, I have a blue chore coat. This is from Banana Republic, and it is a linen cotton chore coat. It's dyed with natural indigo. And just like any denim lover or boot lover, you have an affinity for the color indigo. And the color on this is really rich. Of course, it's linen, so it's very light. So you could wear this in like early fall. Right now, I was just outside, it was about 70 degrees. So a long sleeve cotton Henley, and then the linen shirt on top of that was actually still a little bit warm. But even as it gets into 60 degrees, you know, you're not wearing something super heavy like a flannel with a long sleeve shirt underneath. Still allows it to be a little bit cool, but then you can have that chore coat. Um, that's, that's a style I really like, chore coats. I'm wearing them a ton all the time. I try to wear them in summer and it doesn't work out. On my wrist, I'm wearing the Citizen Promaster Diver. Love that watch, it's like my go-to. I love the steel band, and I think it pairs really well with this navy outfit. The fifth outfit I like to wear with my Red Wing Iron Rangers is I actually like to pair black jeans with the Red Wing Iron Rangers. Now, a lot of times people say, do not pair brown and black, but I think sometimes in this situation, because the Red Wing Iron Ranger is such a casual boot, it warrants the rule to be broken. So with these black jeans, these are from Mott & Bow. Uh, I like to pin roll these about three times. They have a pretty wide leg opening, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, it basically is straight below the knee, whereas I prefer a little bit more taper. However, because the Red Wing Iron Ranger is more of a bulbous boot, you can get away with it. And in this case, I'm still pin rolling it about three times at the bottom to get that height. So I'm showing off the full shaft of the boot right here. On top, I'm wearing a green short sleeve Henley from Henley, H-N-L-Y. And then on top of that, I'm wearing the denim chore coat from Everlane. Last I checked, Everlane didn't have too many of these denim chore coats available left, um, but definitely check them out because I haven't really gotten a chance to, I bought it at the very end of spring and Everlane does these like seasonal things, but I bought it at the very end of spring, obviously it got super hot for all of summer. So I've been just dying to wear this thing. I've only been wearing it in videos. You guys have been asking me, I've been seeing a lot of comments like where is that thing from? Well, it's from Everlane. Check it out, link in the description below. And if you want one of these, Everlane, they're a fantastic brand to shop with because they're usually pretty inexpensive comparatively. Now like, talk about Outer Known, Taylor Stitch, 
Um, I know that like uh, uh, Buck Mason, those are super cool brands and I'm always shopping them, but it's always a little bit tough to pull the trigger. Uh, Everlane, their prices are usually about 30 or $40 less expensive than those brands. Uh, and they make really cool stuff. I love the way it all fits, a little bit slimmer, a little bit sleeker, more modern. So definitely recommend checking them out. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you were interested in more style videos, I have a video upcoming on how to style the Thursday Captain. So if you wanna see that, please hit the subscribe button down below. I also have a new boot related video coming out every single week, so you can check that out. For a detailed one year review of my Red Wing Iron Rangers, you can check that video out over here. Check out my top five boots right now. And until next time, put your best boot forward.